What it do, what it do. This is your boy, KQKC Boxing Network. And this is another edition of Boxing Updates. And we got an update for you. We are talking about Spence versus Crawford. Rematch. Part 2. No matter how you see it. They will fight in December. Allegedly, this has been confirmed. By none other than Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford. Now, I don't know about Terrence Crawford or his trainer. But I will tell you this. Earl Spence, what he says, 90% of the time, always come true. Always come about. Everything he has said in the past that he was going to do, he has done it. Now, if this rematch take place in December, which I believe it will, according to my sources, I will say this. This is what rematches are made for. Rematches should always be in a contract when you are a belt holder. That way you have a chance, a la Jamel Charlo, you have a chance to win your belt back, to win your championship back. And that's what they are, in my opinion, are there for. And now, Earl Spence will take advantage of that rematch clause. He will fight no other than Bud Crawford. We all remember July 29th. We all were shocked to see the, 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 the dominance of Terrence Bud Crawford. We all would thought it was a 50-50 fight. And I thought it was a 50-50 fight. Everyone knows I'm a Jamel Charlo fan. Everyone knows that that's my number one fighter. But still in all, I'm still a boxer fan. And I thought that fight would have been a 50-50 fight. We're giving Earl Spence the edge. Now, now that we're going to have a rematch, I'm not going to get into what Terrence Bud Crawford, what must he do? Well, he dominated the first fight. He dominated the first fight like times 10. So Bud Crawford just has to be a Bud Crawford. The problem is Earl Spence. Earl Spence, first of all, he had to redeem himself. Earl Spence had to show everyone, he had to show the world that he is not just a hype job. He not just this robotic type of fighter, a predictable fighter. He's going to have to come in, not only with a game, a A game, he's going to have to come in with a, a B game. He's going to have to come in with a a C game. Yes. He's going to have to work hard. He's going to have to work hard. And get his get back. From no other than. Terrence Crawford. He's going to have to get his groove back. Just like Stella. That's what he's going to have to do. That's what he's going to have to do. Now. Of course. It is a bright spot. In all of this. I may add. And that is that he will be fighting at 154. That way, he won't have to put so much damage draining down on his body. Now, I'm not giving no excuses. You know how you all do. You run and say, oh, can't you give an excuse again? Can't you give an excuse? No, I'm telling you. What Earl Spence needs to do. Some of you all just delusional. Some of you all just don't get it. Some of you all just want to gloat. Have y'all even know what about Terrence Crawford's amateur career? Have you all don't even know what Terrence Crawford did before 140? Now. Let me calm down. Now. Of course. Once again. Earl Spence going to have to pick his feet up. Earl Spence gonna have to listen to his trainer. 
Earl Spence going to have to not be so predictable. Earl Spence going to have to get a little bit meaner. He going to have to bring that dog a little bit more out of him. Now, wait a minute, KQ. What do you mean a little bit more out of him? He wasn't a dog in the first fight. Oh, yes, he was. Oh, yes, he was. See, when you get knocked down three times and still get back up and still ready, ready to go, and you tell, look over to the referee, Harvey Dog, say, uh-uh, I want to go, I want to go again. That's dog. That's dog in you. Now, I'm not trying to discredit a, 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 a Bud Crawford win. Once again, I know you all going to try to, but if we have to understand and we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. KQ going to be live tomorrow at 11 o'clock a.m. Central Time. We're going to have to talk about what will make Earl Spence great. Matter of fact, I'm going to let you on a little secret. KQ, KC, I don't care if Earl Spence win or lose. I would like for him to redeem himself and make it a competitive fight. Make it like I thought it would have been a 50-50 fight. I want to see. I want to see Earl Spence pretty much uh, 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 get his get back. That's what I want to see. I want to see Earl Spence show the world that he wasn't a hype job. He wasn't a, 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 a rock star or a one-night a one sensation. That that type of uh, fighter that this, the Bud Crawford fans so much called him. I want him to show that he is not a robotic fighter. He is not a predictable fighter. I want him to show that he is that Olympian. He is one that sit there and dominated and dominated and broke eye sockets, broke ribs, all right, broke bones, took no prisoner. I want him to show us that Earl Spence. That Earl Spence, that, uh, that, 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 that unified champion Earl Spence. That's what I want to see. That's what I want to see. That's what it should be. Now, once again, it's not talking about what chance Bud Crawford will have to do. Bud Crawford just has to be Bud Crawford. If it's not broke, why try to fix it? You see? Do you understand? Now I'm gonna give you two, I'm gonna give you two whammies for the price of one. Now we're gonna go over to Devin Hay, Shakur Stevenson. When has Shakur Stevenson ever been all the name calling? All these names that everybody calling him when he was at 130 or maybe 126. Now he's at 135. He's all these names and some. I know. See, the content creators that has a personal relationship with Bill Haney and Devin, they are doing the most capping than anybody. And of course, the game that I don't play, the game that I didn't play in school, is called Father the Leader. See, I didn't play that game. The teacher asked me, why you're not playing? I said, I don't play Father the Leader. I'm a leader. You see? So, call it down the middle. Call balls and strikes like KQ do. Stop doing someone else bidding for them. Oh, yes. I thought this channel was going to be that type, like that, but it wasn't. Because I stood up for myself. That's why. I said, no, 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 good brother. No, 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 no. Uh-uh, uh-uh, no, he doesn't punch that hard. Uh-uh, uh-uh, yes, he, uh-uh. Just the facts, balls and strikes. No hate. No hate at all. Both guys are great fighters. Both guys got to let this uh, 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 marinate a little bit more. And this is going to be a big fight for both guys. And I'm talking about Devin Haney and Shakira Stevenson. They can pretty much cash in on this fight. It's not only a fight of great 
fighters. We talking about a grudge match. We are talking about two fighters that grew up together. We are talking about two fighters that want something so bad. We got talking about two fighters that want to prove something so bad. See, y'all got to think. Y'all got to think. Now, they might be at home, on the phone, chopping it up, laughing it out, and trying to pretty much sell this fight for later on next year or maybe after that. I know boxing, and also I know the streets, and I know how to talk and listen and hear and figure out when somebody from the streets trying to cap but go around the roundabout way, taking the same road that Little Red Riding Hood took, hopping down that bunny trail, just like a Peter a Cottontail. I am KQ, KC Boston Network. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe right now. Go ahead and hit the bell icon. That way, you will be notified each and every time I go live. And that way, you won't miss me calling a fight on Saturdays or Fridays. It doesn't matter if it's free or pay-per-view. I will call that fight. And that way you won't miss daily live streams at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. And also on Sundays, you won't miss me with the Young G. Yes, the Young G. That's no other than Knockout Boxing 86 TV. Me and him will be live every Sunday at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. So with that, there you go, baby. There you go. Oh, we got another one. Not only September 3rd is going to be a powwow, a shoot 'em up, shoot 'em out. Oh, baby, we got another one before the year is over with. This year of Boston has been on top. It has been on point. Now, all we got to do is get the fans, get the fans on board. And that means call the balls and strikes. Stop being so damn biased. And keep the toes ten toes down, as you say. I'm old school. I don't say that. What I say is, listen, real recognize real. And with that, assalamu alaikum. And salaikum salam. I do a lot to everyone. So everyone have a great, great day. I'm out of here.